Hello, my name is Robert Pound and I'm a product technologist for Quest. In this video, we'll talk about moving data into a data point using the export wizard. So I have Toad data point open and to get to the export wizard, uh, there are several different methods. I'm just going to use the, the ribbon bar. So whatever you have in focus is what you're going to export in this case. So if we wanted to export from uh, a SQL server, for instance, we have to put that into focus and then we can come to the ribbon bar and choose export wizard. This will open up a wizard with a welcome screen and on the next screen we'll have the ability to add objects or instances to the export wizard. So first thing we'll do is click add and you're presented with a list of all the possible objects available from in this case our uh, SQL Server and we can choose the different databases uh, from the drop down list, but I'm going to go ahead and use uh, this one. So let me go ahead and simply select a couple of the items to get started and click next. So from here you have your output options. So there are a wide range of output options from delimited files, uh, XML, HTML. I'm going to choose Excel for this one. And your options obviously change uh, depending on the file format. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and leave the defaults and choose next. And from here you can manipulate uh, the columns. So both, uh, both objects are in this list. And if you want to, for instance, affect the format of the date time, you can choose this ellipses. And then depending on your desired format, you can change it. And it'll show an example here at the top. And you can also affect the order of the columns as well and deselect certain columns that you don't want to see in the data set. And on this screen, we have the ability to uh, change the location uh, of where the file is stored. So if I click on this, I can come to my shared folder. I can rename this. We'll just call this account and cust. And you have different options depending on, on what type of file formatted it is. I'm going to go ahead and leave these default again and click next. And we'll go ahead and add one more. So this time I'm going to use a query. And I could have chose query file, but essentially let me go ahead and double click these ellipses. And open up a uh, SQL file that I already have for this demo. And what this is going to do is pull in data from this database. Uh, you can put them in here. Let me go ahead and click next. And just for fun, let's go ahead and do HTML table. And I'm not going to manipulate the columns. And here, obviously, our output file is a little simpler. I'll go ahead and use the default file name. And we could continue on um, adding to this list and edit or remove these items from the list. But I'm going to go ahead and choose next. And at this point, uh, we can choose to export the data now. We can also save this as a template, uh, and that can be used in automation at a later date. But I'm going to go ahead and click Finish. And once it's done, it will give you a list of everything that's currently been exported, uh, the rows that have been exported, and then a link to each one of the files. So if I click on this, for instance, it'll open up the Excel file. Or if I navigate to that folder, we can see uh, everything that's been exported. And that is all there is to it for exporting. Hopefully this helped you out understand a little bit more about how you can move data into a data point. For more information on this or other topics, you can go to the help file. It has a wide range of topics as well as tutorials to help get you started. You can also check out the community-driven innovation going on at www.toadworld.com. For more information on this product, go to www.quest.com forward slash products forward slash toad data point. Thank you and have a great day.